After moving from the UK to start a new life in Greece, we're on a mission to find the perfect village to build our dream home on a budget. We plan to explore 100 villages in 100 days, getting to know the areas, the people and the local charm, while trying not to mess up the names. It's going to be an incredible journey, so we can't wait to take you, my friend, with us. Join us as we hunt for the right place and see which village captures our hearts. Welcome to 100 Villages in 100 Days. This is day one in our new series. 100 Villages in 100 Days. <laughs> Today we're in Aptera village. We decided to come here in Aptera because we've been here before. We came here first when we checked out the plot. We have a video about it. If you want to check it out, we're going to put the link in the description. Yeah, we saw that plot. We decided that it's not for us. So we thought, why not come back and maybe try to ask some locals, try to ask some people around. Maybe they know other plots in the area that are for sale and maybe they know some people that are interested in selling so yeah. yeah we thought we were gonna ask around and see what happens basically <laughs> we saw your comments and some of you mentioned that we should ask locals in order to find a suitable land or old house for us i did make a community post about it just to see what you think is the best option the best chance for us to find a plot 60 or 70 percent were saying to ask the locals this is the best option so this is what we're gonna do from well, we know up there it's a bit more expensive because there's there's an archaeological site here. If you Google it, this is what will come up first about this village and I think that's why the prices are higher. And also it's very close to Hania and Suda, the road is great. The and view is amazing, I mean. Yeah, so it's a great location really. It's really convenient, it's... Um, Obviously, it has nice views and, you know, the minimum things. There are a few tavernas and the mini market. The village is quite small, actually. I think <laughs> there are 500 people living here. Yeah. But I think it's nice to try our luck, you know. You never know what happens. You never know. Maybe yeah. we meet the right people. At least maybe. making new friends. And finding out more things, getting more information. I think information is yeah. power. Visit more villages to have a look on the culture, on the people, on the local Meeting charm. Meeting new people, yeah. We're curious about that. Bold, stupid and curious. <laughs> but at least we're gonna get some experiences and stories out of it. And I think we're gonna learn a lot during this process. Even today we learned a few things from the discussions we had with the locals. So I think that's pretty much it about Aptera. It's a great village. We would be lucky to find something affordable here, but I'm not sure if it's in our price range. But yeah, we will try anyway, so. Yeah. If you know this village, or if you live in this village, please put down in the comments. Get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You were very nice with us and very friendly <laughs> and we thought maybe we should come back and ask you if you know something around because we're looking to buy something here. We're like looking a... to buy an old house or a land and we thought yeah. the best thing is to ask to the ask locals. People. The locals, oh, say, but I, I'm not from here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not from this village, okay. so I don't know if they are selling anything. You uh -huh. know, my darling, so I'm okay. so sorry. No, you, it's okay. You speak very good English. Yeah. 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 Have you been in UK or? In New Zealand. Oh. New Zealand, not as good. Your, your, your accent is very good. You live near Bind? Yes, in next village in Stilos. Okay. Well, maybe we should check that one out as yeah. well. Oh. In this village, it's very, 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 very expensive. Everything. Why? Yeah. Because of the old ruins. Oh, yeah, because oh, there is the yeah. ancient Aptera ruins. Yeah, the, it's the historical yeah. site. It's so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. But I can remember now, I've seen some sales in Nyohoryo, you know, mm. like if you go from down here to Stilo, to my village, that's yeah, where okay. I live, you will see in the next village that I have, uh, they selling land and things like that, you know, mm -hmm. and we have a look. It's okay, you know, yeah, are. we thought we were going to ask maybe, you know, yeah. you hear something or because you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because people yeah. Here, they might know if something. If my boss was here, I would have asked him, but he's not here. Mm -hmm. So if you are around again, about around two o'clock or something like that, okay. and he's here, he can help you, you know, but it's very, very expensive here. Okay. How much is, is an old house? It's nervous. Uh, we uh, have... Just for the land, I know. It's okay. very, very expensive. I don't know about old houses. and. I don't think anybody's selling anything like that, you know, mm -hmm. they're keeping them for themselves. Usually they sell land and they build houses. So it's more likely to find the land rather than an old yes. house? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So this is more rare to find. Yeah, in the, the old, houses, uh, old houses you will find in the old villages up in the mountains. Okay, the so we have a better yeah. chance. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We have to find something, you know, <laughs> that way. Okay, so you think we have a chance to find something in the villages? 
Yeah, in Stilos, say Stilos New for you, you will find land. Maybe they have an old house set for sale, something mm -hmm. like that. Do you think it's better just to ask around or? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody speaks English. You yeah. know, you can communicate with the yeah. people. Because we thought uh, it's better than with the agencies. We saw there are a bit overpriced, and if you ask the locals what do you think of this land, they would say, "Oh, this is too expensive for what they give you." So, yeah, yeah. we thought maybe it's a better chance. To ask somebody, maybe they are not thinking about selling, but if we come and say we're ready to buy it, maybe they mm, yeah, consider they will, it yeah. to think about it. Wait, the last one. She's so kind, she's going to ask somebody from the Cafe Neo. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to ask? Yeah, for yeah. She said oh, I didn't get that. She said we can gonna ask him. Who is local and he knows, Okay. nothing is selling. Nothing here. Okay. What That's time okay. do you think is is good to come and visit? Eight. When are the locals? More like uh, in, in the afternoon. Afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Six o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Six o'clock. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You're very, much. Thank you. You're very Thank kind. You're very Thank, kind. You. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Okay. Take bye care. Bye. You bye too. Bye bye. Bye bye. About the series, we thought we we're gonna move here and maybe find the land, the plot or something. And we we're even considering buying an old house. We saw your comments and a lot of people were mentioning, guys, this is a better idea, buy an old house, renovate it. And we kind of agree on that one because... We need to gather more information. Yeah, we need to gather more information but first, of course, what, but we from, are considering it. From what we see until now, it weights more towards the old house rather than a land. But we will see if we find the suitable land we're thinking to build a prefabricated one we don't know yet i think realistically speaking we have two options we either buy a land and put a prefab home on it and make a bit of diy because even with the prefab one it's going to be a lot of work to do on our own because we have a small budget yeah or the other option is to buy an old house and renovate it you know maybe renovate the room live in it and then renovate it until, you know, when we have more money, put more money into it, rebuilding it in time. Realistically speaking, these are our only option. The classic house, the build from scratch with the building permit on a land, I think it's out of discussion for us because... Also buying a new house or a big house. It's out, out of discussion. Of discussion. <laughs> so, go away. <laughs> We know it's gonna be hard, it's not easy to find something in our budget, but we're not gonna give up. We're gonna keep trying until we find it. We're resilient. <laughs> we'll keep going until we find what we want to. If we were to be back home in Romania, we would know which areas to avoid, which areas are better, where would be a good deal, where is a bad deal. But because we're here, we don't have this information. So we thought, what can we do about it? We should just explore, hopefully find all this information out from the locals. So I think the plan is to go see as many villages as possible. First of all, to get an idea about the area, the surrounding, what's near us, what are the possibilities, the check out the landscapes, the opportunity, the possibilities, to get a better understanding you know how the villages look like here how the roads are how the connections are we like it if we don't like it you know just to find out more we're not really in a rush we take this thing very seriously so we want to gather as much uh, information and just to learn more about Crete in general and specifically the area here around Hania because this is where we want to live so I think it's only fair to study this and to put some effort into it. And yeah, this is how we thought about this. And we thought, why not make a series? Because we are planning to see all of these villages. We made a list, we put all of them on the map, the villages that we are considering for a potential home. So I made the map, I put a pin in every village and it turned out to be around 100 of them. Yeah. <laughs> I showed it to Raoul and he said, why not make a series about it? 100 <laughs> villages in 100 days, uh, we will go... Ask people. We will ask people, we will take one village at a time, uh, interact with the locals, ask around, see, see how the surroundings, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, and see what we can get from there and yeah I think it's really interesting maybe even for you to watch only for entertainment to see how the villages look like to, to see people's opinion and yeah just to watch our hunt <laughs> trying to find a plot trying to find an old house I think it's gonna be interesting and we're gonna get some nice stories out of it yeah so if you want to follow that or follow us just subscribe to our channel. Let us know what you think about this series. Let us know if you think it's a good idea. If you like it, if you think it's interesting for you. Yeah, share your thoughts with us. As usual, we will yeah. listen to your comments. We'll reply to your comments. 
We love you guys. We really count on you and on this one and we learn so much from you and it's just it's amazing how much of an impact this YouTube channel has in our life. If you have any thoughts, any advice, anything at all, we really appreciate it. Yeah, let's see what this series has to offer. We're very excited. I'm really excited about this series. I'm excited to see the villages. I'm excited for me. It's like a trip every day to go to see a new place. It's exciting and I can't wait to meet new people and to ask them. And it, I think it's going to be really interesting and fun. Yep. At least fun. If you're not here for the hunt, you're here for the fun. <laughs> Either way, my friend, come along. It's gonna be a nice, interesting journey. Elimera, you speak English? Yes, of course. Yes. We have a random question. <laughs> so we were looking around here um, to buy a land. We thought, why not come here and ask a few people? Maybe they know something. Okay, we need a land or a house. A old house, old or, house a or a land, something more cheaper. If so you know can... anybody or somebody Maybe who knows somebody, something. I know that someone sells a house, an old house, a stone house. Yes. That he, he was rented many years ago mm -hmm. in a tourist. Yeah. Yes. And now I know that he sells. But, but do you do you think it's an expensive property or is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just asking <laughs> to see if it's... A lot of people say houses, but the prices. Yeah. We're gonna go in each village. You think the best hour is in the morning or in the evening? To, to ask, ask people. For the locals to be ah, in the yeah. Cafe Nio, in the ah, market. The Cafe Nio. After, the most of them, they go to Cafe Nio and Taverna Kelaidi. Okay. The most of them. Maybe six o'clock is okay, a good time? Seven. Seven. Eight, okay. Yes. Let me make a that near the house that I okay. think that is just a moment. Thank you Thank very you. much. Somebody is making a phone for us. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, it's so very nice. nice. It's the wrong hour. You should come in yeah. the evening. Yeah, definitely. We learned something today. It's yeah. the best time in the First part. I think village. this is like the center of it because there is a mini market, there are a few tavernas, I think this is the middle of it. Yeah. yeah. It's so nice, like I'm really, really impressed how far people go to help you. Extreme alert? What's this? Civil, there is in English as well. Oh, there is a wildfire. Stay alert. This is the first time this happens to us. The phone was ringing like so weird and it was just an alert, I guess. It's like uh, this happens all the time when it's an emergency, when it's a wildfire or something. So this is what happened now. There is a wildfire somewhere nearby. We will check it out to see if it's um, on the way back home. I lost it. You lost the message. I don't have phone number for the house that I told you. Mm -hmm. Because they don't live here. Mm -hmm. But a friend of mine told me that another house. <laughs> That's they, yeah, yeah. They sell it, but they are in Germany. Okay. And you don't have phone numbers. If you go all straight from here, yeah, yeah. yes, all straight, you can find a small hotel uh, with the pool. Near the hotel, you will see a house, blue, white house, something like this, mm -hmm. in your right hand. This is the first house they, that they sell. As I imagine, I saw the one the way up. You can see the sea. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so I expensive. imagine it's gonna be really pricey. But we want to buy something maybe old, cheap in a village yes, somewhere. Yes, Not necessarily yes. here, but okay. somewhere where we can afford it and renovate it in time when we have more money. Probably and... without CBU. Yeah. Probably so I don't, an, an we'll yeah. I don't think we will get a CBU. I don't think we will get like. Most of people they send the house for the view. And yeah. the money it's only for the view. For the the money yeah. 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 This this village is expensive, right? Uh, it always was expensive. They are all expensive. You must pay a lot of money to recreate the, the structure. Yes. Do you think you need a permit to renovate it, or you can just renovate it? No. no. You need a permit. You need a permit, but it's easier to get a permit to renovate it than it is to get a permit to build it from scratch, right? Yes. We can leave you a phone number maybe and yes. if if you ask around yes. Yes. If you know anything at any point maybe somebody is interested Yeah Stand by her and Ah, Sun Sun Raul Vicky Vicky Nice to meet you Raul Raul Thank you so much You're welcome You're very kind I asked my boss and everyone from the village 
Yeah, if they, if they have something, you know, something. Yeah. something old, something destroyed, something that's covered in, it doesn't okay. matter. Okay, understand. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, you so Vicky. Much. Thank you very nice much. To you. Nice to meet you too. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Nice if you enjoyed this video, if you like spending time with us, we would really appreciate if you can hit that subscribe button for us. It really helps. Or maybe and that like as well. Yeah, if it's not too much to ask. Just push it, push it. <laughs> we would really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you very much. It means a lot to us. See and you in the next one. Bye. Bye.